welcome in everybody to another episode of the Brett Allen Show. Today we're chatting with actress Victoria Richards about her current project, the HBO Max show Rap Shit. I'm in love with this. This is such a good show. Uh, you play the role of Treasure. Um, this show has so many layers to it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And I'm glad you're loving the show. It is very funny. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's very wild and different. Um, basically, you know, you play this very over the top edgy character. Uh, and uh, kind of the theme of the show is it sort of illustrates how women take charge in various occupations like sex work, music. I mean, just a lot of different things. Uh, and I feel like there's a lot of shows that don't really accurately depict the struggle that women go through to be successful in this industry, but it presents it in a positive light, I would say for sure. Yes, definitely going into detail. It's not like a generic story. It's like real situations, real roadblocks that people are actually facing in real life in these industries. So definitely covers all of that. Yes. Well, what interested you in the project and sort of attracted you to it and made you realize, you know, this is something that I want to be a part of creatively? Uh, for one, I feel like we're definitely in like a boss B era where like women are just doing it like yes. in business and rap and so many different careers are really just leveling up to the plate. Like we've, we've been had the ability, but we're now just getting the opportunity to show it. So I feel like this show exemplifies like these women are very talented and given the opportunity, they can be just as big as a Jay-Z, a Drake, anybody, you know? So yeah. I feel like as a woman, that's that's what attracted me to it in terms of just being able to showcase the versatility of a woman, you know? Yeah, no, I agree with you 100%. Because I think a lot of times, like, our frame of reference might be, and this is not anything negative, but like a, a Beyonce or maybe somebody like, you know, um, a Christina Aguilera or whatever the case might be, where they sort of have had this platform for a long time. Um, and they already have that under covering, like, you know what I'm saying? Like they sort of already kind of, I don't want to use the term, um, nepotism, but really like we're talking with this story yeah. that you're a part of, like from the ground up, you know what from I mean? From the like, ground up, like not to take anything away from those women. No. But it's, like, I understand completely what you're saying. Like just a raw talent, like raw, random in Miami, no backing, no push, no nothing, and getting on the scene and making it happen. Like, that's not really heard of. It's not, because a lot of times, you know, you see this type of story depicted for men where they, you know, like a Chance the Rapper who, you know, comes from for a rags to riches kind of story, but really this story that, that HBO Max has put together and your directors and your showrunners and writers Amazing. I mean, the cast is just spectacular. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a great show. Um, and uh, you do just a fantastic job. And, of course, you know, I love the reasons that you're attracted to it, you know. And really, there's a lot of positive messages to be had. I yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. 100%. 100%. And within my character, Treasure. So, Treasure is basically like a fine hooker with a lisp. And she rides for her team. She rides for the Duke of Miami, her and her girls, Jasmine and Peaches. Like, we do what's necessary, and that's our job. And although, like, sex work does have a negative connotation, it's still work. And for our specific role, we aren't being compensated the way that we're supposed to. So, I also feel like it's that's another representation of like real world where women or people in general are doing a job that they are not being compensated properly for you know what I mean but a lot of people stay in bad situations because of loyalty yeah a lot of, like you know what I mean so because of our loyalty to the duke we continue to entertain and you know use our assets to get what we need but we still aren't being paid properly so I also feel like that kind of showcases a whole nother problem that's going on yeah I mean at the end of the day it's still work and you know although there might be some who as you say stick to it because of loyalty so to speak but then there's people uh like this character and others in the show who sort of do it for the fact that it's work you know it's like something that's fueling the engine to pay the bills yeah. <laughs> so to speak you know what i mean they have to yeah that's what they have to do like yeah yeah because again and unfortunately 
and I think this show does a good job of of shedding a positive light on that, but also showing the struggles yeah. of women who are have chosen, you know, wholeheartedly to be a part of this kind of world and um, and does a great job. Interestingly enough, I mean, you've been a part of a lot of other great projects, too. What sort of interested you in becoming an actor or a storyteller? Like, what was it that drew you in? Ooh, so I'll say when I was younger, because I got an actor when I was like seven, but I had to stop for a while up until about two years ago, um, just because it was hard to balance it with school. But I think when I was younger, it was just more about like watching Disney, watching Nick and being like, oh, I want to be on TV. Like, you know what I mean? It was just very like simple, like kind of childish stuff. And then as I got older, it became more about the impact that TV had on people and me being a part of that because yeah. you gotta think TV, movies, films, it's entertainment, but it's so many things that we get out of it. We're taught lessons. We are moved to laugh, moved to cry. We fall in love with these characters. We build, we grow, we fall with these characters and it's so intimate. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of movies and films that I've a, learned so much from B, seen myself in a character, you know what I mean? And see, like I said, like laughter is the best medicine. And a show like Rap Shit, because it's like comedic, it's one of those things where like, regardless of what you're going, what you have going on in your life, when you come to watch it, like you're going to have a good time. Yeah. Like, you're literally going to have a good time watching it and falling in love with these characters. So I think that's what drew me in. And that's why I'm in it right now. And also being able to help somebody else's vision come true. Like, it's a beautiful thing because people like, you know, the process of creating a story and then getting the funding, getting the means and the people to bring something and make something happen and get it on screen. Like, it's a lot that goes into that. So to be a part of making that happen for somebody just from a dream they had or just from an idea that came to see it come to life and to be a part of that for somebody else is really cool. Yeah, I think that's one of the cool things about being an actor or being a storyteller is that you get an opportunity to do a lot of different things and create things that most people wouldn't get to in their normal everyday lives, you know? And then it, when it turns out to be really good and you struck gold and it's lightning in a bottle, <laughs> then it's like, okay, this is really, really good. And here's to hopefully another season of this. You have a few episodes yeah. left. Um, it's streaming now on HBO max. You can watch it all the current episodes um, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Uh, Victoria knocks it out of the park. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one.